So if I just quickly go there to the local host double one double one, you can already see the application up and running. This is the sign up page which I have created for users to no, sign up, get registered with their name, desired uh, username, and then email ID and password, and then they can log in to the session. So I will go back to the core and I will try to explain how this works, right? So if I go to the main.py file, this is all the imports. I'm using Flask framework for this application. If you don't know Flask, just go ahead and um, read a bit about that. Uh, it's a very useful framework, which is very convenient to use for small projects or creating small api servers so in this the first method is analyze tone i have already told you that uh, we'll, we are going to send texts uh, to the tone analyzer and it will give you the response in the form of scores so here you can see this is a syntax where you are initializing the uh, tone analyzer here already you can see my API key and URL. I'm showing you the API key because it's nothing important, right? You can't steal anything. Moving ahead, I have used the same object to predict the tone of the text. I'm, I'm passing the text and the all other required uh, flags and then get result method. This is all defined in the IBM Cloud uh, documentation for the tone analyzer. So here it is written in the response, nothing else, and then Moving ahead, I have defined a DB connection method, which is necessary to create a session of uh, the users.db which I have created. So whenever I need to save something or fetch something from the database, I have I need a connection, and that is going to happen using this method. We are coming across the route methods of uh, Flask. This is how you uh, define the route. Route basically means whenever you go to the localhost uh, then the port number and you type something this is the route basically if i click that it is going to some page what should happen in this page is, has been written in this method called sign up here basically i'm checking whether the already whether the user is already connected or not and then if not um, we are creating a session with the db and then uh, we are fetching the users currently available in the DB because if someone wants to register again we are not gonna let that happen and basically I'm checking and I'm checking whether the username already exists or not if it is there we are again returning at this point and not creating one more user and also I am doing all this to check whether the username email and everything is already there so if it's not there I'm creating a new user this is basically how you create um, new uh, new data in the ORM um, classes and then for the password I am using hash password um, method which is very useful because you cannot just store the password in the database as it is so you have to hash the password and store it and whenever you get the password back you have to undo the same thing and read the password that's how you save the password usually um, for the security then i'm just adding the user and then i'm redirecting the page to the login page because after sign up it's, it necessarily makes sense to go back to the login page right so the login page will also check whether the user already is connected or not and then if not uh, basically it will cross check the db with the required password and then Basically, I'm making the users online. So there is one more thing I have done uh, where users are tagged with a certain you know, data if they are online. If they are offline, again, the same thing. So those things are happening. And if the login is successful, it is redirecting to the sessions page where the actual chat happens. And one more route is required for the logout. So if I click logout in the sessions page, uh, basically the user will the user's online tag will be removed and uh, basically he'll be out of the login session 
using the user data from the login session. Again, if I click log out, it will go to the sign up page where you can also go to the login page again. So finally, this is an important route where the users are chatting with each other. This is called session and in this session page, you will see a input field where users can type the messages and click send and the other part will show which users are online. Basically taking the input from the input field and creating a dictionary out of it and then passing it to the sessions.html page. Uh, whenever a message is received to the sessions page, an event is triggered, which is a socket uh, event. And in this method, I have written that when the JSON is received on the sessions page, you have to pass that to the tone analyzer. Okay, here I'm passing this back to message to the tone analyzer method. And then I am getting back the tones, which are uh, responses from the analyzer API. And if the tone is sadness and if the score is more than 0.8, I am defining something like this for that. And accordingly, you can see the sadness goes down. And uh, if it is joy or if it is anger, I'm taking the, the inputs from the tone analyzer and uh, defining my own emojis for that. Uh, with uh, if if else conditions where well, finally what i'm doing is i'm emitting that json message to the sessions page where that is displayed on the session with the emojis respectively so this is all about um, the socket io event triggering and then passing it to the tone analyzer and getting back the response check this code and try to understand better because this project was done by me long back and probably have forgot some parts of it. So I'm just trying to explain you what is happening, explain you briefly about this. I will show you the website in action. This is the website you can see. Now I am defining dev um, a name. Same thing for this. Email ID, I will give my email ID, password as admin. So I will click sign up. DevHub admin is my um, credentials. Now you can ask me what if I go to the sessions directly, right? So I have a condition for that. If you go to the session and if user is not there in the login session, it will be sent back. So Again, you are in the login page. You can see here, session. Again, you are in the login page. You have to log in before you go to the session. So I will give my email ID. Then, now submit will land me on the sessions page, right? And you, you can see here, this page is not looking good, I know. This is just, uh, you know, like a prototype. Here you can see the users online, they have, they have username and the full name, both the same here. And here you have the field and this is the session page. So when, and, uh, uh, and there is one more button here to log out. So whenever I type something like I am happy and I click send, a socket IO event will be triggered and the messages will be sent to the tone analyzer API and then get, we will get back the response. And then accordingly, I will add the emojis onto it and display. So click send. Then happen. Yes, see. You can already see here. DevHub has sent. DevHub has sent a message. I am happy. The emojis are coming automatically. So if I type, I am sad. See, it's fine, right? So if I go back to the page, here you can see the response from the Tone Analyzer API, document tone, score is 0.9999 something for the joy first, and then 87% for the sadness. So accordingly, I am putting the emojis onto the messages. So if sometimes the Tone Analyzer API will not return you anything because it doesn't know what emotions it has, at that point, I will 
just inside this emoji so you can see here so I am blah blah nothing very good there are some drawbacks now I guess um, that's why I'm getting nothing I should get something see should get something now you can ask me like you are typing alone like where are the other users and how will that happen right so I am in this window now I'm going to the new incognito window here and uh, I'm going back to the same session here I have already created one more user where the email ID for that user is a a a a at a a a a dot com and the password is admin as far as I remember so if I click that you can see that users online has become two in this window as well as this window why I'm using incognito window because the login session is not recorded for the uh, incognito window so the browser thinks it's both are different sessions now so you can see below this yeah and you can see dev hub and admin are in the chat room now and if someone types i gi something it is coming here as well as here the dev hub gi dev hub gi and if i type here something hi you can see here admin has written hi you can just ignore the styling elements as of now but this is how it is working so if i go back and click log out here for the admin uh, the user got logged out and here if i reload that you can see the all users online space the admin has been moved out if i click log out again here done so this is all about the online public chat room application using python uh, and flask so thank you for watching this video and in the next video i will deploy this uh, chat room application to the cloud uh, with a free cloud provider called heroku and uh, after that you can chat using that link um, in my own chatting room Till then, see you, take care, bye.